Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. Today we want to talk about the speed of sound in air. So the equation for calculating the speed of sound in air is approximately 331.4 plus. Now I like to use parentheses because without parentheses you can always make operation errors. So we like to put that in parentheses so it's 0.6 times the temperature in Celsius. So here at the bottom here I show an approximate conversions for going from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. So here's, and we also have a conversion because our the problem we're going to take on today asks for meters per second and miles per hour. So here's a conversion from going from meters per second to miles per hour. It's approximately 2.23. A couple of things about uh, sound. The sound needs a medium to uh, to travel. A medium, not like in a shirt, small, medium, and large, but like a solid liquid or gas. So if you're out in space and you're hollering for help, nobody will hear you. Also, the Star Wars movies would have been pretty boring without the sounds coming from the uh, fighting in space. Also, sound is a what we call a longitudinal wave, and it's also a mechanical wave, which just means they need a medium to travel. One more thing about sound. Sound uh, travels faster in a solid, if this were a race, second place would be in water, and sound travels the slowest in air. So this is the equation we're using today. So what is the speed of sound at 80 degrees Fahrenheit in meters per second and miles per hour? So before we can plug into our equation, we need to make sure we have the temperature in Fahrenheit. So the first thing you need to do is use an equation to uh, calculate Celsius. So we plug it in there, we get 80 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times it's really 9 or 5 over 9 and I just write it out as 0.555 we get about 26.64 degrees Celsius so that's where we'll plug that in here TC and again making sure you use parentheses in your calculator because if you just go plus 0.6 times that you're going to get an operand what we call an operand or operator error so um, V equals approximately 347.38 meters per second. And if you're new to physics, meters per second means nothing to you. Uh, so if you're used to driving in a car, we're, we're used to miles per hour. So if we take that number and multiply it by 2.23, we get approximately 774.6 miles per hour.